Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to win almost every game in Clue. I actually said I would do this video in... Here, I'm going to go to it. My first Clue game. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that today, and this video will have an intro and an outro. So I hope you guys like those. I spent all day on it, so I hope you guys subscribe and like this video for more. So now it's loading. I'm going to tell you my tricks I have on this. And I'm going to pick characters. And we're just going to start it. So I'm going to tell you how to do everything. I'm going to tell you what I do and how it works. And basically. So then pick the cards there. So these are my cards and they are and they automatically cross out for you. So it's Plum's turn, then it's my turn, then it's Green's. So this is what I have crossed out, or the cards I already have been dealt. And it's Okay, so he said, so I have to show him that. <laughs> Alright, so now I got an 8. I can go in any room. I'm gonna look. So one trick is that to limb it down, what people can show you is to go in a room that you already have. So which is either a conservatory or dining room. I'm gonna go in the conservatory because I can move across the lounge in one turn. That's probably a better move than the dining room. Alright, so now to look. So I like to get the characters first. So if you get characters first, you already ask a card that you know you have, and I know I have um, rope and daggers, so if I... So I'm gonna say a character I don't have, and um, a weapon I do have. So it would force him to show me a character. So yeah. That's basically how you... So, yeah, that's basically how you, like, win, to be honest. I mean, if you've never played this game, it might not make that much sense. Like, why show cards you know you already have? Then, you know, then why show them? Another thing is if another character asks for, like, two, that has two cards that you know were dealt to you, then you can automatically guarantee that the other person has it, so you would cross that out. At least I know I'm not the killer. So, so I have to go in a room that I don't already have. So if you do that, then you can basically do the same thing. You can either try to figure out a weapon or a character. Or not a weapon or a character. 
what you need. You, you either have to, you have to either figure out the room, or actually, actually, I would put a character you know and a weapon you know to see. So, what? So, lounge is crossed out. So, it wasn't a lounge. What makes this game so much easier, especially in larger amounts of players, is that it already crosses it out for you. Which you don't have to if you play the actual board game. Which is pretty nice. <gasps> trying to figure out who showed me the mustard card. If I were to remember, then I could guess that it wasn't the candlestick, but I'm not really sure about that. Because I forgot who showed me the mustard card. I think it was Plum, actually. <gasps> but, I don't know. I'll just keep playing. And it already automatically tells the characters that you don't have the cards, which is also nice. I was already in the lounge before, but I guess not. Oh yeah, because I got moved into the conservatory. So I don't think I have ballroom yet. Yeah. So I'm gonna put up the characters I already know. Same with the weapons to see if it was done in the ballroom. And that's how you get information on really anything is to show cards you you already know that you have, so you would force other characters to show you cards you're looking for. And I don't know if I already said it, but um, people, but some people will say like, why show people, why ask for cards you already know? Is because you basically basically gives you a hundred percent chance of getting the information you need. Because if you show, because if if you show all three cards that you know you don't have, it's only a 33% chance or a one-third chance that you'll ever get what you're looking for. And 33% chance is horrible. It's not great odds. So, just play the game. I only have five. Oh, in the kitchen we go. And I don't even really have any room, so I'm just trying to figure out which room it was in. At this point. Oh, well, it, well, you look at that. They both didn't have kitchen, and I didn't have kitchen. So that means it was done in the kitchen. And that's a really good strategy. And this is also good too because I know that no one has kitchen, so there's only two cards here. And rope. And rope I have, but I don't know what he has. I thought it was gonna go to him and you would show him plum, which I would automatically cross out. Already, I'm gonna test Plum since I have an X on it. Everyone's in. Everyone's having dinner in the kitchen. Wow, that's the best roll yet. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in a room that I know I already have, or the room that you know people don't have. You don't want to go in a room that you figured out by other people because 
that means they have that card and they most likely will show you the same one. So, I'm gonna go in the dining room. And I have rope, but not plum, so I'm gonna see it. And there we go, so it wasn't plum. Too bad he didn't move me in there, because then I could make a guess or a questioning in here again, which would have only helped me more. Or, actually, or I can just move back in the kitchen if I want to, which I'm going to do that because I don't need any more rooms. are all over this kitchen. So I'm gonna test her and one of the other weapons I already have. Okay, so no one had this, so it had to be her. So now I'll, now I'll, ugh, can't speak. Now all I have to do is find the weapon. Which is pretty easy to do. This will help me more because I know no one has that. And that turn didn't really help me as I was thinking it would. Like, every character is in the kitchen. There was like, there was like six people in there. And I don't know how many characters there are. I forgot how much there was. And that's bad. That was a bad roll because... I don't have study, and I don't want to go in there because then someone will show me that card, which I don't need. So this turn is basically a waste. But I can at least limit it, limit it down with something. Yep, I knew it. That's a completely wasteful card that I don't need. If I had billiard room in one of them drawn in my deck, then I could assume that he showed him revolver. Since I know no one has that character or room. So that's another strategy to look out for while you're playing is watch what other people are asking and what other people might be feeling. Now it's not a guarantee that it will work, because I tried it before and I actually got it wrong. But I think I probably misunderstood it wrong. Because I was questioning it a lot. Eh, let's go back there. In the kitchen. I might test candlestick again. 
since he didn't show me it. Arm. Well, now he did. But now we know that candlestick was not the weapon. sucked because I wanted him to go first because I have I have this card and not that card that no one has so I could have seen what um so there's an X on revolver so I'm gonna test revolver because most of the time or I'm not really sure but sometimes it leads you to success in finding it My rolls are terrible. This is not good. Let me see. For a second. Because Green had ballroom, so he showed me that, so it's most likely, likely he's gonna show me it again. right now are sucky. I would have probably been done if my rolls were higher. But I'm not getting anywhere, really. Try to go through this quickly because I don't want it to be so long where it's unwatchable. <gasps> All right, so let's hope I get a decent roll, or at least enough to get me where I want to go, which it is. Okay, so now I'm going to say revolver. And there we go, that's game. No one said revolver, so that had to be it. So, that's how you win. So I'm gonna say, oh, I don't know how to say that name. I'm sorry, but I just don't. So her, revolver, and kitchen. Okay, continue, and then you press activation. What the? So it was her. Card. Right. There we go. That's how you win. So, yeah. There we go. Took me 19 minutes. Oh my god. So now, I'm gonna go back to my channel. Because that's where... I need to end it. And yeah, guys. So I hope you liked it. And stay tuned for more. And please subscribe and like this video. Bye.